Hi, I'm Jeff Rogers with Innovative IDM. Picking the right enclosure for a machine design is extremely important. Get it right and everything is going to last and work great, be able to be easily maintained. Get it wrong, things will overheat, you can get contaminants in the cabinet, things will prematurely uh, fail, and uh, people probably won't like you very often if you, if you get that wrong very much. Um, it may seem pretty rudimentary, but there are a lot of different options to consider. Um, I want to tell you about six of the ones that I think are the most important. Um, the first of which is the environment in which this cabinet is going into. So the environment is critical in picking the right cabinet. If this is going to go anywhere where water or dust or any kind of contaminants are present in the atmosphere, then you want to make sure that your cabinet has some sort of seal on it so that you can remember to, you know, keep the water and the dust out. That's the main thing. Also, the other thing is, is you want to make sure that uh, there's, no, there's not going to be too much heat in the cabinet. So you want to have enough spacing, not enough room for all your products to breathe. So again, all kinds of enclosures exist. Each application is going to be unique. Um, the enclosure should be unique as well. Um, the, the smallest enclosure is not only the best, is not always the best enclosure. Um, you may want the smallest enclosure because uh, space equals cost. The bigger the enclosure, the more it's going to cost because the more metal there is. But just remember, think about the long-term maintainability of all the equipment that you're going to put inside of it. It's not easy to change an enclosure once you've decided and installed all the components. So make sure that you take the time to get it right. Consider all the options, weigh all the pros and cons, and, and make an educated decision. So again, the first thing is going to be the environment. That should dictate the type of enclosure. That's going to be the NEMA or the IP, which means ingress protection rating. That's going to keep all of the contaminants out of the cabinet. The next thing is all the internal components that are going, going to go inside. Most of the time it's going to be electronics inside and those electronics produce heat. And so these, all these electronics have an associated uh, watt loss, heat loss, loss that's associated with them. That's usually part of the uh, specification for each of these components. Add all that up and make sure that your cabinet can dissipate that much heat. There's, there's uh, calculations um, and uh, math functions basically that you can use to determine that. Uh, the next thing is, you know, the need to access um, all the different sides of the components. For instance, if you need to be able to get your hand up underneath here to grab a hold of this wire and it's too close to the wire duct, you can't get your hand in there. Same thing if I need to be able to grab the end stop on the side of the piece to pull it off of the DIN rail. If I can't get my hand in here, it's going to make it a lot more painful for me to do that if I'm a maintenance person. So remember, you want to make enough space in here for things to be able to breathe and for you to be able to access these things with your hands and get, get in to, to access those. The other thing that you want to remember is uh, surrounding obstacles outside of the cabinet. Anything that's going to be on either side of the cabinet, front or back, that's going to determine how big your door needs to be. Um, if you've got any cables that have got to come out with a minimum bend radius or anything like that, that's going to affect how far away you need to place things from the cabinet. Um, also, if uh, there's going to be any corrosives in the environment, if it's a wash down, say for a food and beverage application, the type of enclosure you're going to want to make sure is uh, stainless or something that you know, can't corrode um, with caustic chemical wash down. Um, and also think about uh, you know, any kind of arc flash mitigation that you have to deal with. So uh, certain uh, customers of ours require that the, uh, the internal disconnect actually be located on the outside of the panel completely so that whenever power is removed, there's no internal components that still have uh, live, live power to them. So again, just think of your maintenance personnel when you're picking these components because it, it can really mean the difference between being able to work on these efficiently and effectively to, to reduce downtime, make sure that you can prolong the life of the equipment inside. Um, which has to do with basically just the heat loss um, and again, you know, contaminants. So just to recap, the six factors that you're going to want to consider anytime you're going to pick out an enclosure is environment. What's the environment that the enclosure is going to go into? The internal component heat loss, uh, the need to access the size of the components. How much space do you need to give each one so that you can access it as well as uh, if it needs to breathe? Um, remember the length, the width and the depth uh, of existing and future components that need to go in here. If you're ever going to put something else in here and it's going to be deeper than the cabinet, that component can't ever go in here without replacing the cabinet entirely. So remember that. 
surrounding obstacles that affect the size of the door and the size of uh, you know cables, cable entry and exit, the minimum bend radius, that's important. Um, and also any kind of arc flash mitigation. Does your disconnect need to be completely located on the outside of the cabinet or can it go inside, um, you know, maybe with a shaft um, style quarter turn disconnect or, or a knife style disconnect or something like that. So just any additional questions that you have, please remember you can always uh, visit our website to, at, our, at our Knowledge Center, which is innovativeidm.com. Check out our Knowledge Center. There's gonna be white papers and information for best practices um, that you, know, you would wanna consider when picking out an enclosure. And if you need help, we have application specialists on staff that can even come outside to visit and, and help you make uh, that decision. After all, we are the home of the legendary customer experience.